I'm Tony Leodora, the traveling golfer. And on this show, we answer the two greatest questions in golf. Where can I go and play? And what do I do when I get there? Wait till you see this one. Get ready for a very special episode of The Traveling Golfer from America's oldest brewery, Yingling, in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, and the nearby historic Schuylkill Country Club, Dick Yingling's home course. This is a summer trip that I've enjoyed, but more importantly, you should enjoy great beer, Great golf, all in the mountains of Pennsylvania, brought to you by the Traveling Golfer. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. The time is now. Myrtle Beach Golf has never looked better, and your best shot is yet to come. Embrace every moment and escape to your course of choice. It screams. It tracks, it's soft, it reacts. It is the Bridgestone Tour B with a game-changing reactive cover designed to spring faster off your driver and stick longer to your wedges. Try Bridgestone's Tour Bs, the Tour Ball reinvented. Raise the bar with Flight by Yingling. Low carb, low calorie, more taste. Brewed for the generation that's always reaching for more. Flight by Yingling, the next generation of light beer. Welcome to beautiful Schuylkill Country Club in the mountains of Pennsylvania, right down the street from Yingling Brewery, Dick Yingling been a member here a long time. We welcome you here, Tony. Well, it's great to be here with you, Dick. And food and beverage manager, Pat Burns, he's been involved with the club since 2000. He knows where a lot of the bodies are buried. <laughs> <laughs> tell, me, tell me a little bit about this historic club, and it really is a piece of golf history in Pennsylvania. Um, indeed it is. Schuylkill Country Club was established in 1921. The original design by first nine holes by Willie Park Jr. Uh, Donald Ross came in 1945 uh, to basically finish off the remaining nine and do a little redesign on it. And it's in fabulous shape this year. It's an absolutely wonderful uh, golf course and it's been a wonderful uh, experience to be part of it for as long as I have. And unlike a lot of Donald Ross courses across the country, this is not one that's been torn apart and changed. I mean, there are real traditional Donald Ross features left on the course. False fronts are a trademark of Donald Ross. You better take enough club or the ball's going to be coming back at you. Yeah. 
barely held on, but that shows you how dangerous it could be. One foot shorter and that would have been down the bottom of the hill. Not bad. Not good. Our viewers are sitting there salivating. They're saying, what a summer trip. We can come up to Pottsville, Pennsylvania, visit the historic Yingling Brewery anytime. Glad and then have you. Yep. the first thing they're going to say is, where can we play golf? Well, even though the Schuylkill Country Club is a private club, uh, we are a very welcoming private club. And uh, if your golf professional would be in contact with our professional, we can certainly arrange for a foursome to come and play the golf course. And you've even arranged for some people to come out and play too, we'll, Dick, right? We'll call the pro and uh, he'll get you on the course as our, uh, we'll sponsor him. Now it might be a little tougher to catch Dick because he doesn't stay still too much, so you might have to chase him down. This but if one, you do... This is one of the longest times I've stayed still, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> the story of how Yingling became the golf beer, tell me how that happened. Well, through people like yourself, <laughs> uh, it helped a tremendous amount, but uh, we're, we're very very well represented of many, many golf courses up and down the East Coast in particular. Uh, I don't know a golf course that doesn't have Yingling, that's for darn sure, and has it on the beverage cart too. Beverage carts, uh, clubhouses, they all, they all treat our little brewery in Pottsville uh, tremendously. They represent us excellent. Well back, I'm going to say in the late 90s, all of a sudden the catchphrase started to make its way around the golf world, Yingling, the golf beer. You guys were smart enough to put it in a green bottle, so <laughs> that certainly didn't hurt. We put the lager in a green bottle and we have light lager. Uh, a lot of golfers like a, a, a low carb, low calorie beer, and now we have Flight, which is doing very well in most of the golf courses in Eastern Pennsylvania and up and down the, uh, the East Coast, quite yeah. honestly. South Carolina and North Carolina. And the old standard black and tan, I always say, if you wanna have a good, charcoal burger that's the burger beer. black and tan is the beer for that <laughs> yeah well, let's bring Tommy Green in here Tommy Green of course a very integral part of the 1993 Philadelphia Phillies yeah. World Series team National League pennant champion and Dick your association with Tommy is quite an interesting story. How did it happen? Oh, I tell you what, I was fortunate enough back in the day, my good buddy, my dear friend, who we miss very dearly, Darren Dalton, introduced, uh, got me associated with him, you know, in a way, you know, I met him, but also Darren couldn't come to a, a function because of his, you know, he was sick. You know, he was having a little bit of trouble. And so I filled in for him and that's when mine and Dick's relationship started. Uh, a little more in earnest, so to speak. I yeah. met him and we got to you know, know each other and got to see the brewery and, and that type of thing. So it was still the best beer I've ever had come right off that line by Dick. You got to meet Dick yeah. and spend a lot of time with him. Oh yeah. At? Fantasy Camp. <laughs> in How about Water, that? In yeah. Florida. Yeah. He was my catcher, Dick was my catcher. And I couldn't get keep him off the field. I asked him, you, you want to end an offer? He wouldn't stand for it. He, he was ready to go. He'd go back there and get there and catch and do it. And you know, you know, beer maker becomes baseball player. I mean, that had to be a childhood fantasy. It, I mean, it, they it call was, it fantasy it camp, so why not? It was fun. You meet a lot of nice guys. They get a hundred and some people. Picked like five teams or eight teams, something like right, that. There's right? ten teams total. Ten teams. About twelve guys on the team. Yeah. Yep. And and it's nothing but fun. But all in, all in fun, you see a lot of laughter, a lot of pulling for each other, and then afterwards. The way I look at it, I told my team, and Dick probably remembers this, he said, I expect one thing, I better see you tonight downstairs at the bar, because we're going to ice it from the inside <laughs> with, with some yingling light. <laughs> I said, very true. Hey, everybody. John Claffey here. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for Tour Edge Golf. Brand new released, just straight from the R&D factory of that Tour Edge. This is the exotic C723 driver head. This is probably our most teched out driver head we've ever introduced. It is 
it may just be the most adjustable driver head on the marketplace. We've got a front weight that is uh, adjustable along with a back weight that is adjustable. Now, if you were to just switch these weights or get a weight kit and switch those weights around, you are in perfect control of MOI and of your spin uh, rates. It, we also now have a brand new track to, for this back weight. So now you can affect the flight on which way it can go directionally. And of course, it always comes with an uh, um, adjustable hosel that goes in five different settings. Now, if you're gonna consider all the different weights that we have nine different weights that you could configure this head to. It's gonna come out to 4,680 different head configurations and just this one driver head. That's not even including shaft. This is literally is one of the most adjustable drivers out there. It can serve you in any um, course setup out there, any weather that you have out there, you can adjust to your needs. That being said, there is also a E723. That stands for extreme. This is a 5,600 grams per cubic centimeter square driver. That is, tops pretty much all you can go for a moment of inertia which means less twisting and impact which means more forgiveness straighter shots one of the most accurate driver heads out there there's tech for days on on these clubs they are priced right we've got ridgeback tech that comes down the middle this is a titanium spine that now goes 360 degrees around the club head you will not find more tech for the price out there because that's what we do at tour edge it's as easy as five, two, three. Doesn't get any easier. This Houdini sold is like magic when you just need to launch it. I wish more of my pro-am partners had these. I wish more of everybody had these. Because golf is hard. So make it easier. Make it five, two, three easier. If there was a trophy for the most forgiving clubs, these would win every year. You want to talk about winning? You know he knows a bit about that. Pound for pound, nothing comes close. Tradition at its best. Golf lives right here in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Home to the most historic, top-ranked clubs in the country. More than 50 courses and over 300,000 yards of green. With nearly 80 nearby hotels, incredible attractions, and dining options, it's clear Montgomery County isn't just a place to play golf. It's a destination. Stay and play in Montgomery County. Book your tee time now at montcogolf.com. It screams, it tracks, it's soft, it reacts. It is the Bridgestone Tour B with a game-changing reactive cover designed to spring faster off your driver and stick longer to your wedges. Try Bridgestone's Tour Bs, the Tour Ball reinvented. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. Over the last 190 years, a lot has changed. But at Yingling, America's oldest brewery, we're still focused on one thing. Brewing darn good beer. Yingling, the oldest brewery in America. We're headed to the caves. We're in the anthracite coal fields here, and, the, and this rock is conducive in certain areas to the anthracite coal fields and it's just solid rock so that it's been standing there for 193 years so he did the right thing. He started before there was a re refrigeration so that's the refrigeration, natural underground refrigeration to keep the beer cold during fermentation and storage. Whatever works, gotta that's, keep it cold. Yep. So you walk through the caves, it's all you see the sides of the rock and then all of a sudden there's a brick wall, that's sort of strange. Well, the brick wall was put in there by the government. They made us uh, block off, there's two tunnels in there, and they made us block off one so we couldn't hide beer, real beer in there during Prohibition, because small breweries were notorious for that. I don't think my grandfather done it, Ed would, would have done it, or my great-grandfather, my grandfather would have been, uh, but I may have. So. <laughs> <laughs> during that time, to keep going, you had a different business. It actually operated at across the street where the gift shop is now. 
Could have been Dick Yingling, the ice cream master. The ice cream king, well, no. <laughs> Glad I wasn't in that. But uh, it, uh, during, during Prohibition, my grandfather built a, a dairy along with one of his sons, his oldest son, Frederick, and uh, refrigeration equipment in the dairy is much the same as that in the brewery, so we had people to, to keep our employees working. That's really the reason he did it. And uh, they lasted in, from about 1920 till 1985. This entire operation, even if, though it's in the historic old brewery, just a couple miles from the new modern brewery, uh, it's still in operation. You still make beer here. Still make beer here. We, we put out 600,000 barrels out of this little old plant back in uh, 1988, 89, 90. And now how many barrels? Well, we've got over 2 million barrels out now. That is some real nice. Not, not out of product. here, now no, out, no. Of, out of three breweries. You know? Yeah, so you have here, you have Hot Mill Stone, Creek, which Mill is right Creek. down the street, and then that little tiny one down the, in Florida. The one in Tampa, Florida. So we, we bought that brewery, it just happened Stroh was selling all their plants back in uh, uh, 2000, and we bought the Tampa plant and shipped beer up from Florida. and kept our business alive. Yeah, we want beer, we want beer, and that came and through. Want, and we want it now. That's right. <laughs> We're very fortunate all through the years, it's not just me and my four daughters, but it's also uh, the other generations before me, the, the uh, DGs uh, that come over and started this thing, uh, his son and then his, uh, his grandson and then my grandfather. So they all kept it. They all kept it alive through prohibition, and uh, and we're just fortunate to be where we are today. We make good beer. That's why we're still here. Five generations of great beer. You got that story from right here in the caves at the historic old Yingling Brewery. You got to come and see it. My name is Debbie, nice to meet you. Debbie Altabelli, tour director for the museum, the gift shop, and to tell us the whole story, why don't we go? Uh, sounds like a fun idea, I love it. A lot of great merchandise, as you can see here, great prices, people come in here wide-eyed, they can't wait to come in here and do the tour, and we do see here about 30,000 to 40,000 visitors here annually. From all over the country. All over, and I've had people from different countries who don't even get Yingli beer yet, and they, they know about our brand to come here for the tour and to take pictures, and they're in awe of what they see here. I see the Yingling tops of each different flavor of Yingling that right. people can buy for their... Their own per home bar. Yeah. Yeah, so they buy a Yingling kid, they have all the cat knobs here. We have glassware, we have keychains, sweatshirts, uh, metal signs, and a lot of times here, if you're here when Dick's here, he will actually autograph them for you. That big wooden barrel over there, that's actually a dressing room. So when you want to try your Yingling gear, go into our big beer barrel and try it on. There it's really go. cool. Yeah, people love it. Culture is everywhere at Yingling. So, what do you want to do today? Today, I want to run. I want to ski. Thank you. I want to see a show. <laughs> I want to play. I want to eat. I like a lot. I want to sleep in a hotel. Can we do all that? We can do all that and more. Raise the bar with Flight by Yingling. Low carb, low calorie, more taste. Brewed for the generation that's always reaching for more. Flight by Yingling, the next generation of light beer. The time is now. Myrtle Beach Golf has never looked better, and your best shot is yet to come. Embrace every moment and escape to your course of choice.
We're on the 10th hole, a picturesque par four. Tommy and I are gonna go at it here a little bit, but I stuck him on the tips because his nickname, Long Ball Green. Unfortunately, he got that when he was pitching baseballs. But... Really? <laughs> really? Well, I did play in Philly and New York. I mean, you know, I was a visiting player in New York. I heard a lot of that up there. You can take the abuse. <laughs> All right. After that, let's Three, have at it. Two, one, fire. Hey. That had heat coming off it. Well, I can't hit one any better than that, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> All right, I've moved up to the tees where I belong. Or maybe I should be even up further. Oh. Nice ball. A couple more of them, you might be up with me, pal. <laughs> I hear you. I deserve that one. <laughs> Tommy, is that your drive all the way down there right in front of the green? I think so. Let me go get my binoculars so I can pick it out. <laughs> That, you know what that is? That's a uh, Walmart drive. <laughs> they could build a Walmart between my ball and yours. That's a super Walmart. Yeah, so. super Walmart. All right, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna mess with this wind. There's a lot of wind on this ridge, so I'm gonna try and bump one down there, Scotland style, just like that. This is kick right. Kick Come right. on and give me a kick. Yeah, we're on a long putt, but we're on. Yep. Even though it's a bit downhill, from back where Tommy was, this is a 340 yard drive. Now let's see what the 400 pound gorilla does when you put a wedge <laughs> in his hand. <laughs> Here we go, the other challenge, huh? Oh, are you sure you're not related to Dick? <laughs> All right, the downhill green got me. I got a long uphiller going back. Maybe I can show you the line a little bit, Tommy. Great comeback, good par. Oh, this way, it went that way. All right, in true Philadelphia sports tradition, I choked. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the winner. <laughs>
I got one, and, it, and, it's, and it's pretty simple for me. Mine is 18. Reason being, the 19th hole's after it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the That's way right. you think. I, I like it. I like that, that, that ice cold gingling flight. That's what I'm looking for. All right, I thought you were going to say because I hit a good shot there, but I understand. No, not, not after what I saw. Today. Got up in here though for where you were at off the tee. Yeah. Short again. Come on back. Oh my. Oh my. You know. Oh. Oh my. They got to make me an honorary member. I know how to play these hills. Oh my, what a <laughs> shot. <laughs> the 18th hole at Schuylkill Country Club is the end of an incredible journey. It is a walk through history, I feel like. We've got a leader of industry, a leader of men on the baseball field, but I'm gonna prove to you that I'm the smartest of the threesome because I am done talking about beer right now. We're going into that clubhouse and it's time to pour one. Dick, Tommy, well, ready? Amen, brother, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Thank you. After a long day of golf, we need an even longer day at the Yingling Bar here. Yingling Lagers, some of the new flight. Everybody got their beer? Oh no, Tommy. Yeah. I'll have the same thing Dick had. I'm gonna have a good old cold flight to watch my figure. All right, let's get it. Wendy the bartender. That'll be good. Guys, it's been a great day out here. I want to say special thanks, of course, to Dick Yingling, Dave Casanelli, COO of Yingling Brewery, Tom Janot, Director of Business Development, and of course, again, Tommy Green, Director of Monkey Business. Let's go, <laughs> boys. Here we go. It's a Yingling kind of day. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. We look forward to seeing you all somewhere else along the golf trail, drinking in England. You're, you're okay with two part threes if you really like four. I mean, it's four. I hate them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, of them. Look at you, go, you come down here, you got water. Hope y'all rolling on that one. That's great. There you go, water. <laughs> That's great.